up. Apparently, she was actually most known not for her novels, but for accusing Jaimon Hansu and Kimura, uh, of, of, uh, I guess, of Kimura being the other woman. Cola said that Kimura stole her man for her. And I'm just here to say, Cola, I mean, you know, if she was able to take him, he was probably ready to go anyway. I'm just saying, Cola, I don't know the details of it, but, you know, Kim Kimura just got that magic. She got that wop, apparently, because Kimura is never without a baby daddy or a husband. Kimura keeps a man and keeps spitting out a child for a man no matter what. So no matter what you say, Kimura know how to give out that cat and she know how to get that bag and she be giving out that cat since she was 16 in Paris. Don't you remember that, Kimura, when you were underage and you got with Russell when you was walking down the runway because he liked what he saw? Because allegedly, I mean, underage didn't mean shit back then to a lot of them people. That's why they're getting outed now. That's why his ass is over there in Bali because Russell said, y'all not going to get me like I got R. Kelly. See, I can fill out my passport and get over there across some seas and then he takes that and in his saggy old man ass body he does yoga over there in Bali because we don't have an extradition treaty with them what Russell Simmons does is when he does need to come back to the U.S. he don't say nothing he slide through and by the time you know he was here you see the pictures on IG with his daughters about two weeks later that is all and that is it now, had R. Kelly been able to read or had R. Kelly had enough sense to not try to bring all his holes with him? Damn, R. Kelly, you was trying to get over there to Africa. It's plenty of holes over there for you there. Anyway, moving right along from that, Cola Booth is now going viral again for apparently outing uh, Luther Vandross and Randy Jackson. Now, not Randy from American Idol. You know, not Randy. This is Randy from Jackson 5. Shut up, Randy. They always telling him to shut up, apparently. Now, you know, we just thought that it was always a family joke, but apparently Randy was pay playing a lot of Whitney, a lot of Cher, a lot of Cindy Lauper back in the day, and the family just wasn't trying to hear that, you know. There we go. Don't fail me now, Bill. Now, moving right along from that, let me show you the screenshots on what Cola said. Cola said, I got to meet Luther Vandross. Now, right away, I said, did you meet Little Luther or Big Luther? Because there is a difference. I'm sorry. A lot of these artists and famous people, when they lose their weight, they lose their prestige. You got to stay big to stay big. You know, you close your gap, you done. You get your nose done, you ain't the same. It's something about it. Like, how people meet you is how they want to keep you. I hope y'all still like me after I lose my weight. I'm just saying, you know, so mess with me, please, still. Now... I got to meet Luther Vandross and even hung out with him when he was on a date with Randy Jackson of the Jacksons at Catch One in Los Angeles. Catch One? Catch what? We don't know. One of the funniest nights I ever had. We were all drunk and talking about divas and dancing and she bought by Cindy Lauper. And right away, I said, well, damn, that's random as hell. I mean, we didn't know if that Randy Jackson was ever bi or that he went uh, both ways, but I'm here to tell y'all that in the music industry, the majority of people are bi or try or whatever you you want to call it so y'all be surprised about this but i just be like eh, it's kind of par for the course now now i said cindy lopper she bob catch one let's do a little research so number one Number one, Catch Bar was one of the first black discos in the United States and was for a long time the major black gay bar in L.A. It opened in 1973. So I'm like, well, damn, it's plausible that in the 80s the bar was still open and it was hopping and it was the gay spot to be. Now, we've seen some other stars in gay clubs like Missy Elliott and Queen Latifah. And even though... Nothing was ever confirmed. People just assume what they assume. You know, you know, people assume what they assume about me, but I still ain't seen nobody here yet. Anyway, moving right along from that, I said, well, what year did the Cindy Lauper She Bop song come out? And apparently, She Bop, I don't know how the song go, but Cindy Lauper, I know one, Cindy, two Cindy Lauper songs, time after time, and it, what's the other one girls just want to have fun uh and i know that one that's about it all right so released in 83 all right so they was dancing and jigging to the song in 83 in the gay club and then when i looked up uh catch wait wait, wait. when i looked up catch club again catch one i said well damn that's what the outside of it looked like and so all in all this was a real club this this is an incident that probably actually happened like this is no smoke now she's i don't know what would get what, what, what would possess her to say this but it is what it is all right and it probably did happen so then cola went on to say after being dragged i wish i would hadn't said anything i love randy and i didn't mean to cause him any strife over this maybe there were just pals discussing possible music collaboration now cola i gotta tell you this i know in hollywood the way you sign deals is with a little a little spit and tug a little oh i know that's how y'all sign deals but either the two men was on a date or they wasn't 
Come on, Cola, don't bet, don't backpedal now and try to say maybe they were just talking about music. Yeah, they could. Were they talking about music or talk about making music together? Were they talking about music or talking about music that they were going to make sweet love to? Which one is it, Cola? Because there's a difference. You can tell when somebody on a date versus when they are not. All right. So then she came back. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Then she came back. And somebody said, but yet you didn't delete this. And Cola said, I mean, when people are kissing and touching and dancing together all night, that's a date, right? I just didn't mean to cause anybody any strife. No, when you kiss and touch and dance all night, you know you getting some that night. So, I don't know if it's a date, but it's definitely leading to somebody getting dug out. So, somebody got dug out that night. Somebody, somebody felt like a woman that night. I'm just saying, no. It was Luther saying, I'm every woman. Put it all in me. Anything you need done, baby. I do it magically. Like, what, like, what, like, what, which was it? We want to know. Anyway, I say, <laughs> I say all that to say, Cola then goes on to say, oh, Randy will live just like the women he beat up. Damn, Cola. So not only have you out with the man, now you didn't out with the man as an abuser too. Jesus. I honestly didn't mean to out anybody, but you keep doing it. But I said what I experienced and that's the end of that. Cola, we're still trying to figure out who asked you because none of us have heard from you like in years. So what what possessed you to even come up with this? Like, I mean, I, everybody already knew what Luther was into and nobody cared because Luther was Luther. But I didn't know what how Randy used to get down. Did y'all know how Randy used to get down? Y'all let me know. Luther be, uh, been dead for 21 years and they got to ruin his legacy. Too late. You already said it. Uh, did y'all know? Wait a minute. Did y'all know that Randy was like that? I didn't know. Cola is messy as hell. But then, wait, wait, wait. But then, we move right along because Brandy is apparently married to a lady named Elise Chaffe. Now, I don't I don't know what, what race she is or what ethnicity she is. Not that it matters. But they have three kids together. Randy Jackson Jr., Stavana Jackson, and then Genevieve Jackson. And now, when I actually look at Stavana, this is a girl here that they say may be Janet's alleged child. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but when I look at these pictures, I ain't gonna lie, I see Janet. I see Janet. Now, who do y'all see? Because I see Janet. Now, before y'all say, well, Storm, you gotta understand, in families, Jean's skipping, it's very possible that she could look like her aunt. Yeah, I know it's possible, but she looks a lot like her aunt, like a lot, right? So then I say, well, you gotta compare her with the siblings. So that's Stavana on the left, and one of her, and her sister Genevieve on the right. And I'm like, even there, she looked like a sister, but then she don't look like a sister. It's still giving me Janet. So then I found another picture of the siblings where Stavana is right there in the middle, um, with, with the blonde highlights and I'm just like she fit in but she looks like their cousin like they look like siblings and she looks like the cousin or maybe just because I'm so damn convinced I'm convincing myself that that's actually Janet's child that she gave up I don't know but I just want y'all to think that's all I'm saying I simply just want y'all to think but it's just mighty funny to me how that girl looks a hell of a lot like Janet and apparently Luther and Randy was digging one another out now if you found out your husband was digging out booties in the 80s, would you care? It's the 80s. Everybody was doing something a little strange. I'm just saying. Thank you for the donation. I see Janet. So she has Janet's smile. That's what I'm saying. She totally does. Okay, we're going to move right along from that. So now... Yamaya's Gift is a brand that specializes in medicinal herbs and all natural supplements to help alleviate a lot of conditions that Americans suffer from, okay? Now, Yamaya's Gift got products to help you with that hypertension, to help speed up that weight loss, get rid of them fibroids, as well as help alleviate the symptoms of that diabetes. Oh yeah, that sugar, that sugar is real bad. So now with Yamaya's Gift, you get a lot of gifts, but the best gift that anyone could ever give you is the ability to heal thyself from the inside out with products like elderberry syrup to help keep that immunity in check because we all fighting Miss Rona. We all trying to windmill her ass up out of her lives. But one of my personal favorites, as a matter of fact, two of my personal favorite products with your mind's gift is the all natural honey and the tea that's for men. And the reason why I like those products is because 
if you are somebody with a low sex drive if you need a boost in the bedroom and if you are ready to get brian pumpered lexington steeled all night long then just put some of that in your man's cup and you will be on your way to a happier healthy marriage all right now place your orders today whether you need your immunity taken care of you're trying to lose some weight you're trying to get rid of that sugar the diabetes or you're just trying to bust a nut okay order her shit at www.yamayasgift.com